in the last video we have seen a complete demonstration on web data scrapping in this video we are going to work with gmail automation so we are going to open a browser and we are going to type the gmail address www.gmail.com gmail url we are going to provide the username and we are going to provide the password automatically it is going to open right so this could be the procedure so we are going to open the inbox of a particular gmail users context so how we have to do this using ui path so initially what we have to do you could be able to see in the screen I have used a sequence that can be received from this window new right from this I could be able to drag and drop a new sequence here the next activity is open browser so that activity also can be had from the this section if you type open browser you could be able to get this activity just to drag and drop it so for the open browser activity we have to pass the URL so the URL is nothing but the nothing but the ID or the www.gmail.com that is the thing that I need to pass but here I have passed the complete session that you could be able to see here right the complete session because in a single browser we might have used more than one gmail ID so in that cases the address will come like this only just you have to open your uh, gmail window uh, open that uh, browser where you could be able to type and to find out this complete address otherwise if it is a fresh window means you will be able to www.gmail.com so it's enough just you type and copy it and paste it over there in the same browser we have used more number of files so the url will come like this so better instead of using www.gmail.com you can copy this and then paste it over there so that will be more appropriate for a uh, uh, current situation okay that's the reason why i have pasted this here otherwise you can paste here also as well as you have to choose the browser type chrome so that's advisable so with the browser what we have to do that has to be done within the do activity by default when you are going to choose the open browser automatically this do activity will be enabled here so in this thing i have to choose the place where i have to type my email address okay so this is the place that i'm going to type my email address that can be chosen through the type into activity likewise so after that i am having the next button so this next button can be triggered through the click activity of this ui path studio so if you type here click automatically i will get that activity so through that activity i have to indicate that button in the screen next one is very important is nothing but get password so get password is nothing but so for every user's id we have a password that password must be uh, could be completely protected that is the reason why instead of typing over on the screen it has been typed over here by the property of this get password the get password also will come as a control activity only if you type here get password you will get it just drag and drop it so from here you could able to type the which email id that you are going to use so for the corresponding gmail id you have to give the password corresponding password that normally what you will open okay so that is the thing and it is going to store in a variable called to password because we are going to use it in the later section so that password is available I, I have created a variable called password in the variable password the real password will be stored over there okay so that is the purpose of this get password and the received password will be automatically typed into the enter password screen as usual what we did for our uh, typing the email okay so the same thing so after typing that uh, so that also will come into a type into activity so after that we will have the next button if you click next automatically inbox will open so that is the idea here okay so that's the thing that we need to talk about here so remember that 
in the password section what it need to type that has to be given through this variable password the same variable is available here because in get password we have assigned the corresponding password with the variable with the variable password so it is enough to give the variable here so no need to type the real password right and moreover in the get password activity that you have to click this private so so that uh, while the ui path is going to communicate with uh, chrome even if any sort of interruption or interception is happening it cannot able to break so for the purpose of second reason only it's going to be perfect. so now it is over so as usual i have conveyed so for executing this so ui path web extension must be enabled in your uh, google chrome so you could able to see here so in this you could able to see ui path web extension it is in blue color already it was being enabled okay so that's the idea and uh, we will run this program now so just press debug file so already a window was open so no need to worry about that now a fresh window will open for you debug so it is advisable while you are going to execute the ui path program so no other uh, windows are open since i'm doing the recording uh, so now the execution got started you are able to see here gmail automation demo execution started so now you could able to see a browser will open a browser will open for you yes the delay is due to these things only so when more number of applications are running on the machine and if your desktops are overloaded so it will uh, take time for us to execute so now we can execute so our browser will be going to open so now you could able to see the mail window is opening so in the email section automatically Pressed, type and press. Now you are able to see the inboxes opening. Right. So this function by using with the uh, less number of uh, windows to other less number of applications so it will be a 